For any homework related queries, call us at plus one six seven eight six four eight four two seven seven. You can mail us at info at economicshomeworkoper.com or reach us at https colon slash slash www.economicshomeworkhelper.com. 1. Decide whether each of the following statements is true, false, or uncertain, and give a brief but clear explanation of your answer. Most of the credit will be given for the explanation. 1A. When an aluminum company made 100,000 cans, the last unit cost 2 cents. The next year it made 500,000 cans and the last unit cost 4 cents. This company does not benefit from economies of scale. 1B. A demand equation for gasoline is estimated to be LNQ equals minus 0.54 to 0.40 LNP plus 0.25 LN income where Q is in millions of gallons per week and the price is per gallon. A refinery fire leads to a price increase from $1 per gallon to $1.50 per gallon. Since the above equation implies that gasoline demand is inelastic, the quantity demanded will drop by less than 1%. 2. A railroad which runs between two cities produces two products, passenger and freight service. The marginal cost of carrying an extra ton of freight is $0, and the marginal cost of carrying an extra passenger is $0. There are joint, fixed costs of $19,000 per day. There is no other competitor in this market. EconomicsHomeworkHelper.com The daily demand for passenger service is PP equals 80.005 QP with QP the number of passengers and PP the price of a two-way ticket. The daily demand for freight service is PF equals 10 0.001 QF with QF in tons and PF the price per ton. Currently, PP equals $5 and PF equals $8, so that QP equals 600 and QF equals 2000. The revenues from passenger service are $3,000 and from freight $16,000. The firm currently assigns overhead to products on the basis of their dollar share of revenues. Thus, the costs allocated to the passenger business are $3,000, while those allocated to freight are $16,000. The firm's accountants argue that prices should be raised on both products, since the firm barely breaks even. What pricing would you recommend? Evaluate the accountant's argument. Would your conclusions differ if the fixed costs were $30,000 per day? EconomicsHomeworkHelper.com Three, in the competitive market for medical scanning devices, there are 400 teaching hospitals in the U.S. who would buy at most one device. Market demand in units is given by QD equals 1250 one quarter, P up to the constraint that at most 400 units will be sold, i.e. QD less than 400. Market supply is given by QS equals minus 3,000 plus P. A. What is the equilibrium price in quantity of devices sold? B. The government seeks to restrain healthcare spending by taxing teaching hospitals $1,000 per machine bought. What is the equilibrium quantity of devices sold, and what price do firms receive? Is there any deadweight loss, and, if so, how much? C. If, instead of imposing a tax, the government provided a subsidy, would there be any deadweight loss? No calculation is necessary to answer this question. 4. In a small country, Gelbium, yearly demand for mail delivery is Q equals 110000 p EconomicsHomeworkHelper.com Where P is expressed in Gelbium marks, GM, and Q is expressed as the number of pieces of mail. 
the marginal cost of delivering a piece of mail is constant and equals 1 gelbia mark. There is no fixed cost. I. Suppose the government runs the mail service. If the government wants to maximize the social surplus, how much should it charge for mail delivery? B. Suppose the government privatizes mail delivery. It sells the monopoly right to deliver mail to a commercial firm. The firm is free to set its price. How much will the firm charge for delivering a piece of mail? What is the maximum, yearly, amount the government can charge for the monopoly rights? What is the effect of this privatization on total welfare? C. Assume that the government, after having sold the monopoly rights, gives a subsidy of two gelbium marks per piece of mail that the firm delivers. What will be the impact of this subsidy on consumer surplus and on firm profits, relative to unsubsidized monopoly? What will be the welfare effect? EconomicsHomeworkHelper.com Problem number 1 True, false, uncertain 1a. Uncertain or false the cost of the last unit produced represents the marginal cost, while economies of scale refers to falling average cost. In this question, the marginal cost of aluminum cans is rising as output expands, though economies of scale may still be present. As long as the rising marginal cost is below the average cost, average cost will fall with increased output. Common Mistakes Failing to recognize that the costs described are marginal costs, not average costs assuming that if MC is increasing, there must be EOS. To determine EOS, you must know AC. Confusing EOS and RTS. EOS refers to costs whereas RTS refers to output. 1b. False the estimated demand curve shows that the own price elasticity of demand is minus 0.40. Meanwhile, the price increased from $1 to $1.50, a 50% increase. This implies that quantity demanded would drop by approximately 20%, equals 50% asterisk, dash point four. This is much greater than the 1% stated in the problem. There are two other calculations that we accepted. Using $1.50 as the base price instead of $1. EconomicsHomeworkHelper.com Change in price, 33%, equals 1, 1.00-1.50, decline in quantity demanded, dash point four asterisk, point three three, equals 13% exact calculation, let Q0 equals quantity demanded before the fire, Q1 equals quantity after the fire ln Q1, ln Q0 equals minus 0.4 ln 1.5, plus 0.4 ln 1.0, ln Q1 slash Q0, equals minus 0.4 ln 1.5, plus 0 Q1 slash Q0 equals 1.5, minus 0.4 is equal to 0.85 quantity demanded fell by 15%. Common mistakes, not realizing that point 4 was the elasticity of demand unsure of application of elasticity despite correctly identifying point 4 as elasticity of demand not calculating price change correctly, i.e. not 50% or 33%. EconomicsHomeworkHelper.com Problem number 2. For the passenger's market, the marginal revenue is MRP equals 80.01 QP since MC equals 0, at the optimum 8 equals 0.01 QP or QP equals 800. From the demand curve it then follows that PP equals 8-0.005, 800 equals 4. So the optimal price for passenger service is PP equals $4. Total revenue from passenger service is $3,200. For the freight market, the marginal revenue is MRF equals 10.0.002 QF since MC equals 0, at the optimum 10 equals 0.002 QF or QF equals 5,000. From the demand curve it then follows that PF equals 10.0.001, 5,000 equals 5. So the optimal price of